Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing out a full face of Glossier products for the first time and I'm so excited for this video like I've been wanting to do this forever so I did want to start off by saying this video is not sponsored whatsoever um, I know when you go to search Glossier videos on YouTube like I did a thousand times some of them are sponsored but I just want you guys to know that this is not sponsored this is all my opinion this is all I bought with my own money this is not gonna be like a bias review or anything like that I also don't have perfect skin which a lot of these people that love this this brand have perfect skin and that's the one thing that I don't have and I've never had I'm on my way to getting there I'm on my way to getting better skin and it's come a long way in a week and a half since I started my new skincare routine so if you guys do want a skincare routine let me know I will definitely make that in a video soon because my skin has gotten better even though it is not perfect it's definitely imperfect yeah so we're gonna test this out on imperfect skin today putting it to the real test is this going to make me look like a glossier queen a natural queen or is this going to not do anything Anything for me and make me look worse better in the middle I don't really know also I did want to say before we get started I want to remind you guys because this is a beauty video and I never do beauty videos that my extensions are like 26 inches long they're super pretty and amazing and they're from Bellamy if you want to go down in my description feel free to use my coupon code for 10% off of your extensions from Bellamy hair I never make beauty videos and I never really talk about my hair but I did want to remind you guys of that so you can go get yourself some luscious hair and who knows maybe we'll love Glossier makeup and we will just be a long-haired natural queen okay I don't really know so this is the little glossier bag that I got oh my god is it glossier or glossier I honestly have no freaking clue it's this cute little pink packaging and I want to let you guys know if you're not too familiar with glossier that all this makeup is supposed to really just enhance your natural beauty and not really like cover it up like no heavy foundations nothing's heavy everything looks very natural and like real skin or like a real flush of the cheeks with their blush that I can't wait to try so yeah that's kind of like glossier Glossier's like vibe is very like natural instead of like full glam or something like that I'm gonna pull everything out of this bag that I got I did not get everything that I wanted to get some things are gonna be missing But it's pretty much gonna cover my full face. Okay, so let's just get started. <sighs> I'm so excited We are gonna start off with the ooh, the perfecting skin tint shake then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips blend upward and outward for sheer coverage and instant dewiness yes my dog is going to be in every video of mine it's just how she rolls now it's just how she rolls and I don't know if I got the right color but the thing about this is like you pretty much get your color online unless you live close to LA and like want to go to the store I just chose the tanner color a little bit because I do get really tan in the summer and I'm starting to tan again so but it's so sheer apparently that like it almost doesn't matter if it matches perfectly because because it's so sheer that sometimes it like doesn't even show up it just gives you like a little bit of added color so I'm gonna shake this a little bit more I'm so excited to try this I don't know if this is gonna be too dark for me I do look really pale on the camera but not as nearly as pale in person it's a very weird so I'm just gonna start with like one side of my face oh yeah that's a good color whoa that's honestly perfect so let's just Wow, and we have a concealer, so we're gonna go in with concealer. By the way, I already have a pre-moisturized face, and it's a very hydrating moisturizer. I was gonna use the Future Dew sample that I got because that's a new product that they have that's supposedly like really popular, but my skin is already so dewy. I'm like, mm, I'm chilling on that. Okay, so if I had no acne, this would be amazing, like amazing, and it's actually really nice I thought I would hate this I thought I would hate it and it's really not doing much it's just kind of giving me like a flush of color and I don't really want to build it up because that's just not really what the products for but we're gonna go in with concealer for sure oh my god I really like this do we feel like this did anything do we feel like this did anything? I don't know. That feels amazing on the skin. It feels like absolutely nothing. It feels like I just applied a moisturizer, but my skin just looks a little more put together. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, that's a really good color too. This is the Stretch Concealer. Super cute packaging. I love their just simple like aesthetic packaging. And this is in G8. By the way, the colors in the foundation skin tint and the concealer are G8. That's the one that I got. I don't know how this is gonna look under the eyes. Oh totally fine so usually I do a peach under eye concealer to like really brighten up my eye but oh my gosh this is amazing that doesn't even look like I have anything on I'm gonna put a little on the inner corners 
Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit on my breakout right there. So it's a pretty sheer concealer. This will still show a little bit of your imperfections, but I love it. So I definitely recommend that you get the same color in the concealer as the foundation so that you can definitely conceal all over your face instead of like going really light with the concealer and only doing it with your under eyes. I feel like it's actually really nice. It literally looks like this is your face. Bitch, I just look like I have a healthy ass glow. I mean, once I put on the rest of the products, my face will look a lot better. This is like the blank canvas that we have to work with now. Let me get this little guy right here. So let's see, let's test this out, okay? So that's a pimple that's like a little bit under the skin. Okay, so let's move on because I'm so excited for everything else. Like, everything else is super special. So, so this is the boy brow. We're going to move on to brows. So, it's this cute little tiny packaging. And I got the brown color. And my eyebrows are microbladed. Um, so, I don't really, like, need to fill them in a lot. If I do, I just fill them in a little bit. But I'm loving brow shapers right now. But I've never had one in color. I've only had clear. So, we're going to see how boy brow works. And on microbladed eyebrows. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down. I'm really bad at the whole brushing up thing, but it's definitely giving me a little bit of pigment for sure. So we got like here in the front, just add a little pigment. See, I'm gonna add some pigment right there. Yeah, and then just brush it up. Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah. I like it, I like it a lot. I like it, it's cool, it made my eyebrows a little bit more bold, so. These I'm the most excited for. And these are the Glossier Cloud Paints. This is like a liquid blush. So I got the colors Beam and Dusk. And I'm gonna mix these because I think it's gonna make like a really natural flush color. Look at how adorable this packaging is. Oh my God. Oh, let's do a little bit over our nose. Let's do that cute little look. Oh my god, this is amazing for that kind of a look, for that like sun-kissed look. I did a lot, like I did a little bit over the nose and everything to give like that sunburnt look. I really love that makeup trend. So this is just dusk and now I'm gonna try beam. So let me just do like a dot. You really don't need a lot. I just wanna like see how this looks together. So that adds like a very pinky flush. I'm not really gonna put beam on my nose. I think that'll be too much. I think I just put on too much, but that's okay. It's still a really cute look like I'm here for it It's like totally different and it's super easy to blend out Super easy to blend out. Sorry. I didn't realize I'm just a mess sometimes. I didn't realize that the camera was super off-center Okay, so this is like a very Very natural look. Okay, so now I'm all flushed. We are going to do my lashes So I'm just gonna take this little eyelash curler that I got from Target so this is from Roller Lash by Benefit, and this is the mascara that I use right now. Um, but Glossier does have a mascara called Lash Slick or something like that, and I almost got that. I almost got like everything, but I was like, let's have some self-control with money. <laughs> let's not buy every single thing when you already have mascara and things like that. So, but, and I did kind of choose what I chose in this haul or whatever you want to call it based on other people's reviews. So if that does help, like I watched like 50 reviews and I chose the best items that everyone recommended. So you don't have to waste your money on things like lash. Like, I mean, I don't know if it's a waste of money or not. I haven't personally tried it, but no one really said like you needed it. I'm going to skip putting any mascara on my bottom lashes. So now that my lashes are done, let's put on one or two Maybe just a few little fake freckles. I have this little product called Freck, and it makes really, really realistic looking freckles. So I think that's perfect for this look is some fake freckles. It comes in this little tiny, tiny little whatever you'd call this, and it has a tiny little point. So I'm just going to put like... A few dots. And then you just blend it out with your finger, basically. And it looks really realistic. They look like real freckles. I love that. I love it so much. So it's very subtle. You can't really tell, but that's how I want to keep it. I don't want it to look too overdone or anything like that. So I just put a few freckles on my nose. Super, like, youthful. I feel like... I feel like young. Now let's try Glossier lip products. I have three different lip products and we're gonna try them all. This is the Glossier Cherry Bomb.com. This is like a red tinted, hi honey. Hi baby, my baby's laying on me, she's tired. So it looks like this. 
Super, super cute. Everyone recommends the bomb.com. This is just a universal skin solve. It says swipe onto lips for a loving layer of nourishing moisture. So this is literally just lip balm. And I got the cherry flavor to see if it gives me like a nice red flush to my lips. I think, ugh. Ooh. That smells like straight up cherries. That gives a really beautiful sheen to the lips. And this is lip balm. <gasps> How cute! Oh my god, I love <laughs> Sorry. I love that. Just a little bit of like a healthy lip color. Let's take this off so we can try the Generation G lipstick. Generation G lipstick and cake. So this is the cake lipstick. And it's supposed to be just like a sheer cover of color. It's not supposed to be anything crazy. So this is the color. It's going to look dark, right? But let's watch when it goes on my lips. Oh my god. Love this color. This is like the color I've been searching for my whole life. It's so pretty. And they do sell powder, by the way, if you don't like as glowy as I am right now, which I'd probably powder my face a little bit um, normally, but I'm just trying to try it without any of like the other face products and stuff. I don't want to take this color off. I can only imagine how also beautiful that lip color would look on like other skin types. Oh my goodness. And it just feels good, like nothing feels heavy. My skin feels like I have nothing on it right now, nothing whatsoever. This is my new natural everyday makeup, guys. We're gonna do the uh, gloss. And I think that's the last product that we have. So this was very simple and there wasn't a lot of products, which makes it so much easier if you're somebody that is like me and is tired of putting on so much makeup and wants to go for a more natural look or just like doesn't need a lot of makeup or whatever the case is, get these products. Get these products. Okay, so this is the Glossier Lip Gloss. Look at how beautiful, look at how pretty. It's like this clear pink, it's supposed to go on perfectly clear and it's supposed to give your lips a beautiful, juicy shine. So let's see how this looks on the lips. Mm. Wow, it's like thick, but it's not at all like too I don't know how to explain it. Like this feels really good on the lips. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a placebo effect because it's just Glossier and everything should feel like light and nice, but like it feels so different than any other lip gloss I've ever tried. It doesn't feel like greasy or like super sticky. It feels like it's like on your lips, like it's locking in your lips and like it's not gonna come off for a really long time. <laughs> Do we love? Do we stand? Very nice. Here's a close up. No filter, no nothing like that. Showing you everything. Cute little freckles. Oh, I love it! <laughs> I just wanted to do like a little bit of an update of like wearing this all day. Not really all day, it's been a few hours, I guess you could say. It's approaching nighttime. <laughs> and I put this on around like 11 a.m., I think. It's been like a definitely a wear test for the day and I feel like it still looks pretty good this is showing through a little bit the redness right there I don't know I just really like this like, I'm beyond obsessed it's the easiest application of makeup I've ever done I still have a few breakouts that are going down so once those are down it's gonna look so good and even now it just it looks real it looks like me it just still looks like skin and is like still holding up it's just amazing so <laughs> I think I'm learning that I don't need to do crazy makeup every day and hide behind that. And I do want to make a video talking about why this year I've decided I'm not going to be wearing so much makeup all the time. But I feel amazing. Like I feel natural and just like me and I don't feel like I'm just plastering my face with stuff that's breaking me out more and just making me look like not myself, you know, like I look like me, like this is me, but a better version of me. <laughs> I highly recommend that you guys go check them out. I don't have a coupon code or anything like that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And here's to beautiful new makeup. I love you guys so much. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a new video. Comment down below any videos you want me to do, any more makeup try on videos you want me to do. And don't forget to follow me on social media, follow me on Instagram, I'll post pictures in this look. Follow me on TikTok, follow me on Twitter. Do all the good stuff so we can chat and be best friends. Okay, I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day and I will see your lovely, beautiful faces in my next video. Bye guys.